clay strips are extremely laggy even at 600,000. Hello and welcome back. Today I'm gonna be talking about the remeasures for sculpting. It's Diane, Diane Topo and the Voxa remesher. So the first question I got is why a lot of tutorials use Diane Topo and the short answer is that the voxel remesher is kind of new and a lot of tutorials done later where the remesher did not even exist. That's why a lot of sculpting tutorials covering only Diane Topo. And what I think about these two things is I will always choose the voxel over Diane Topo. The biggest thing is Diane Topo is a laggy thing. Um, let's say I have a simple clay strip brush and with not a lot of resolution it's okay it's not laggy but let's see I want to go to the thousands um, I would use constant always if you're using nine top I use constant detail it's the best let's say I want to go pretty 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 detailed um, just be careful how much you add I see that mine is working a bit different so I know that I can add a lot and you can see that it's adding only a few thousands and it's getting way way laggier I can do a detailed thought fill and hold the model is going to get the same resolution. So that's what I'm gonna do. And you will see that it's very slow. It's way slower than the voxel remesher. I probably added too much resolution, but as just for the example, you can see that it's still loading. 24 hours later. Okay, so I got 4 million, which is way too much. I will change it to the thousand and try it again. With 1000 resolution, I end up with 1 million. And we can as well use a smooth shading. Which lags as well and add some artifacts so you can see how laggy it is with 1 million we can even drop it less so only having close to 600,000 you can see how laggy it is even if the smooth brush doesn't use Diane Topper it's still very laggy and if I want to draw something it's not horrible okay but it still lags I can draw fast look at clay strips are extremely laggy even at six hundred thousands now if I turn off the Diane Topo you can see how long it takes as well to turn it off okay now I'm ready and even without using it it seems very laggy okay so now let's try using voxel remesher I'm just increasing the resolution and applying I can see I don't have enough So now with the voxel remesher we have same amount as we did on the Dynatopo where it was 500,000 close to 600,000 and you can see that smooth brush is working very quickly and nicely. I'm even gonna go further and increase, increase the resolution of the model even further on I'm 
So now I have close to 800,000, which was even more than on Voxel remesher. And you can see that smooth brush is still working very quickly. Let's try using the clay, clay strips. You can see clay strips have no problem as well. I can smooth, I can draw and there's no problem with that. So when you're going to the higher poly models, there's definitely not even a higher, even on a small poly models, the voxel remesher is working way faster than the dynamesh. I mean Diantopo. The Diantopo would be great if you if you are going and making I guess the new new object. I'm just gonna subdivide it. And I wanna do sh crazy shapes and I don't wanna be always having to use the remesher so I would just use Dyne Topo but you can still see that I'm only at the 50,000 and it's already extremely laggy maybe we can use the detail flood fail and now you can see that we only have 90,000 and it's already very laggy and slow but this way I don't really have to worry about using Dyne Topo, I mean the voxel remesher and remeshing the mesh over and over again. I can just scoop and don't worry about the topology at all. But as t I told you again, now I'm gonna try adding a lot of vertices using the remesher. Let's go above 100,000, 200,000 and you can see how smooth and fast it's working now. The grab brush, easy. So I would always use the boxer measure and I always recommend using it because just how faster and smoother it feels. So yeah, I always recommend using Voxel instead of Diantopo. Diantopo has its own uses and beauty, but just for the lag sake and the speed, the lag, and when you're using a Diantopo, even moving through the objects going to be slower because every time you turn off, it, it will be loading the model for a bit longer than not having it because now I don't have and it just goes instantly in and out and the more topology we will have on the dying top of the longer it's gonna be loading so okay um, what can I say for the end is that I always recommend using the voxel Dan Topo has it uses, but in my cases, the voxel remesher works for everything for me. And just having a short for shortcut for Control R, where I apply the voxel, is it's much easier. And even the calculation, it's it's much faster than just using a Dan Topo. So thank you guys for watching this short tutorial and see you next time.